convert your patio heater from propane to natural gas. This is the Garden Treasures outdoor patio heater. We got it at Lowe's and we're looking for something that doesn't require us to exchange tanks every 20 minutes. This puts out 4,800 BTUs of heat, which is great for anyone that you want to keep comfortable in the cold. And I will say, don't do this. It could be dangerous. If you don't know what's going on, don't. If you do, be careful. Um, this can be very dangerous. And uh, if you don't understand the details in this admittedly lacking video, really put 10 minutes into it, um, consult somebody who does know what's going on. Otherwise, you know, your situation could end in, well, a not so great scenario. So the recommended kit that comes from the manufacturer is, uh, is here, about 10 feet long. It comes with a quick release adapter, which is nice, and uh, another diameter adapter for the heater itself, which is good too. Um, we wanted more flexibility. We went with this, a little bit longer, 24 feet. Also comes with the uh, quick release adapter. That quick release adapter, to tell you the truth, is actually very nice because when nothing is connected, it will not output gas. So in case it comes disconnected, you're in good shape. So we want to start by removing these four bolts, take the entire heating unit off, put it on a table, and then remove, well, these four screws. <laughs> Great. Once you've done that, you will see that there is a 3 8 inch fitting uh, from the propane uh, system. You want to remove that and replace it with this. This adapter came with your hose, whether it's from Amazon or from the, the manufacturer, and it will allow us to connect our hose onto the top. Do not connect your hose yet though, because it's only gonna make things more difficult. We've got more work to do. And uh, primarily we wanna remove this top unit. So there are three screws back here. After have to ro rotate it 180 degrees. I don't have a photograph of that. But once you do that, um, the entire regulation unit is going to pull off from the, well, the rest of the heating unit. It's gonna look a little bit like this. Wanna be careful, those wires, you don't wanna break those in any way. This gas orifice right here is the one that is installed from the manufacturer, designed for propane. You want to remove that altogether because it is part of the culprit for producing enough heat. So we have the gas orifice that we just removed on the left there, the one on the, in the middle that we came from our natural gas conversion kit for a grill, which is not going to suit our needs. And then on the right, we have the one that we drilled out with a 1 8 inch drill bit. Be careful with that, but it is going to be necessary. You can see them side by side here. We're gonna take the one on the right and install it. It looks a little bit like that. It needs to be snug. Don't over tighten it because it could create a problem. But now we're gonna look at this bracket looking thing, which that entire assembly went on top of and into. Um, it has an air gap at the bottom there because propane requires a little bit of an air mixture. We're gonna foil that off, tape it. Doesn't need to be high temperature tape because well, this part, doesn't get hot. It's just for the air exchange. Reattach the bracket and the um, the mixer assembly on top of that as kind of in reverse. Now you want to feed the hose through the rest of the base unit and um, you can kind of coil it up there just to for the time being anyway. We'll deal with that later. And remember, feed this through that wire mesh looking column thing before you attach it to the top of the threaded adapter we installed just a moment ago. And here, you're going to attach this with the four screws. Don't, do not over tighten them. That could create a problem for you. Let's install the quick release. You can see we have a three quarters inch feed. We've adapted it down uh, from three quarters to uh, one half inch. That's just an adapter you can pick up at a hardware store. Our valve is actually half inch to half inch. So that's what we're kind of rolling with there. And then we've got another little barrel adapter. Um, it is a male to male half inch thing. It looks, well, exactly like this. Um, made out of brass, designed for natural gas, that kind of thing. So uh, after that, we installed the quick release that came with our conversion or hose system. And we connected the heater. We're using the quick release attachment fitting to the hose that we connected to our heater before. Then it's time to light it up. I would recommend pressing down the knob and uh, letting the line bleed out a little bit because there's some non-natural gas stuff in there that we want to bleed out. But then press the igniter switch and you should see things start to light up and heat up very shortly. In our scenario, it is a public environment. So we're using these tread plates that have these channels built in uh, to avoid uh, weld tripping or anything like that for these lines. Uh, you can buy these guys on Amazon fairly inexpensively and they 
make a lot of sense even in high traffic areas because they're highly visible and they will protect your gas lines. So that's pretty much it. Um, you have converted your propane to natural gas and instead of making runs to your gas provider or to your local gas station, you can spend far less money on the same amount of heat, keep your guests comfortable, and uh, just reduce your hassle overall. So again, be careful and uh, enjoy.